M0 FXB, welcome back to the channel. On the left, we've got the Bofeng DM1701, VHF, UHF, and DMR radio, which I completely recommend because they're only about £40. This is a really nice quality set. I've got mine here. As you can see now, it's hard. I will do better videos than this because uh, it's quite bright, isn't it? But this, look at it, it's a backlit, sorry. The buttons are backlit. It's a big set. If I grab uh, a different radio that you may recognize, this is the Anytone 878, which again, I actually do recommend the 878, but look, it's a bigger radio. And they pretty much do the same thing like this. There's no GPS in this. You can, I'll turn it up. Sounding great, and it's working with a hotspot, which you can see just beneath my face. And the reason I've chosen this link is it's about £45 delivered for the hotspot. And I like the way this one has got the yellow and the blue screen. Hopefully when it gets delivered, it will come that way. There is a learning curve to setting up a hotspot and to using a DMR radio in digital mode. I'll leave that a bit louder. But to me, that's a big, a big reason to buy it. Because if you're if you're shying away from using the digital system, you're missing out massively. Uh, you're missing out on the hobby massively. That I know that there's, a, a, you know, you've got your VHF, UHF, you've got your HF. You turn them on and they just work. Yeah, you don't have to bang your head on the wall trying to work out how to you know program them use a what they call the software on your pc to send these sort of programming channels the channels you want to use to the radio which is how you can do this you can program these you know typing on the keyboard but learning the code plug or learning the programming is part of the fun because i found yes it was really hard but once i crossed that bridge and i got my head around it and you never get good at it because dmr is just like that you just get through it opens up a whole new world to you and my hobby went literally times 500 better after I had crossed that learning curve and you will buy it and regret buying it you'll be like oh why did I buy this this is doing my heading I can't stand it but but you have to persevere because once you get through you're gonna have permanent communication all day and night day and night or all, uh, all around the world and um, don't think it makes you use your VH, VHF, UHF and HF gear less. It does not. Because because you have lots of good contacts, positive contacts, it actually makes you use all your equipment more. It makes you buy more equipment. And then if you've not used digital, you start to think, oh, D-Star, C4FM, or what's this M17? And what's this P25? And it really opens up your mind to the digital world of communication and, and it completely ignore the this isn't real radio because the reason people say this isn't real radio is because really what they're really saying is I can't be bothered to learn it that's what that's what they're really saying so the quick cop out is it's not real radio enjoy it learn it make more friends you know the ham radio hobby and non -ha you know non license it's about enjoying the communication hobby enjoying the yes the equipment um, making new friends and learning more about you know your personal interest and sharing that with other people who have exactly the same interests as you so um, the links will be in the description you can literally buy both of these for under 100 pound you will have a hotspot that will work on DMR D star and fusion mind and a radio that you can either use on you know DMR if you don't want to use DMR you can program it to use your local repeaters and never believe anyone that says that DMR radios don't work as well on analog it's a complete myth they if anything they work better in my opinion but anyway I'm not I didn't build them but they work great and you I've dropped these you can drop these literally I've dropped this radio so many times you know I always say put a hand strap on and look this one I haven't even got one on <laughs> you hang it from the back you've got a belt clip but um you know come on just go for it i know i'm really going on here but but you got to remember that that this completely changed my life for the better it's it's the direct reason why i started making 
YouTube videos because I wanted to remember how to program these complicated radios. Best thing I ever did. So please hit the like, remember that. Please hit the subscribe. Let's get these subscribers up to over 100,000. You can join my channel. It's a pound a month. Come on, pound a month. You've got Andreas forever helping you. And um, you're part of my community and the, the members of this channel. And, um, and if you really want to treat me, then you can um, buy me a coffee and me and my amazingly beautiful wife will go for a coffee in Starbucks and, Star, Starbucks and we will appreciate it. Remember, I'm you, you're me. We are, you know, we are ham radio hobbyists enjoying all this techie stuff. Loving every minute of it, enjoying being in the shack, enjoying experimenting. I'm you. I'm not a YouTuber that makes videos and then you never ever hear me on the radio. I'm on the radio all the time, every day. I walk in, I get in my shack, I want to talk to people, I want to enjoy my hobby, yeah? Bye for now, 7-3, all the best. Cheers. <laughs>